Lena returned home to a bombshell. Her husband requests divorce without a shred of explanation. Just endless apologies. Left utterly bewildered, she couldn't make heads or tails of it. Under the cloak of night, two masked miscreants attempted to snatch evidence of bullying from Lena. But she wasn't born yesterday. She saw right through their scheme and let them know she wasn't foolish enough to carry any evidence around. Back home, Lena played detective and deduced the identities of the two culprits, sending shivers down her spine and becoming even more determined to change the class. The next day, Lena wanted to accompany Moreno to school, but Moreno insisted on facing things alone. Sensing a suspicious shift in her classmates' attitudes, Lena warned her to tread carefully. Unbeknownst to her, Ed Lena's defense squad had sprung up in the class. The class bully blames Yosuka for not getting evidence and insults his parents, stirring up resentment in Yosuka's heart. Meanwhile, Yosuka found a new side hustle. Yosuka is heartbroken and in tears as his mother scolds him for using money to attend extra classes. Lena caught wind of this and urged him not to swallow his grievances, but to confront his mom head on. Yosuka fronted his boss a year's worth of pay, entrusting it to his mom in hopes she'd use it for his college dreams. But in a twist of fate, his mom was all set to splurge it right away. Yosuka tried to reel it back, only to get a firm no from his mom. Enter Lena, who reminded his mom that Yosuka wasn't just a cash cow. She stressed the profound impact friends, actions, and words can have on one's life, and enlisted Yosuka's buddy to help him muster the courage to voice his pent up resentment. Walk your gun there, who do you look on now? Post confession, Yosuka expressed gratitude to Lena and extended an apology to Morino, who graciously accepted. In the dead of night, Yosuka stumbled upon Lena at his part time gig. Learning that she was the mastermind behind his advance payment, returning home, Lena tells her husband that she's been the one acting tough all this while, and now she wants to hold on to these days. Not wanting a divorce, her husband agrees to reconsider. Back at school, someone writes a message on the blackboard threatening to kill Lena, something that didn't exist in the previous timeline. 